Kenny, four years ago you began your Gator career. Now you're heading into the postseason for your last run as a college player. Is it amazing to think of all that's happened over this time? Yeah, it's definitely amazing. Um, it flew by. You know, I can remember my first day here. Um, I've, I've had a lot of fun here. You know, um, I think we've had a good season up to, you know, this point. Now, you know, I just think we need to finish it off. Well, let's talk about your time with the Gators starting out. The first three years, you had your running mate, you and Irv, side by side. What was that relationship like on and off the floor? Uh, it was it was a great relationship. You know, Irv was more like a brother to me. You know, um, we did everything together, you know, on and off the floor, you know, uh, working out, eating together, you know, sometimes even stayed at his house. You know, um, he was a great player, you know, and um, I'm pretty sure, you know, he's doing great, you know, overseas now. Now your freshman year ended with a, a really big performance against Brigham Young. You lost the game, but was that a, a game that kind of helped you take your game to another level? Yeah, that uh, gave me confidence um, heading into the next season. Um, definitely going against one of the best players, you know, in the country, uh, in Jimmer. Um, you know, we definitely have, would have been happier, you know, with the win, but it definitely gave me confidence heading into the next season. Into that next season, of course, you get some All-SEC recognition, but I'm sure what means the most to you for your sophomore year is that SEC championship. Yeah, that was that was a pretty fun year. Uh, we won a lot that year. Uh, Alice Tyus, Vernon Mackin, Chandler, you know, were great players, you know. Um, won the SEC, you know, in a similar fashion of, of this year, you know, with the records being pretty similar up to this point. How do you feel like you've progressed as a player over the four years? I think as a player, I progress um, drastically, you know, a lot. Um, definitely, you know, in the, in the shots I take, taking good shots and getting my team involved, um, not being so offensive, offensively minded and playing both ends of the field, you know, defensively and offensively. I think those has been the best things I've progressed in. What about your basketball future? What are your hopes and expectations? Uh, hopes, hopes to play in the NBA. Um, you know, that's, that's my dream. You know, um, we got to win out. Uh, that's a big, big, big reason, a big thing to this season, you know, win out and try to get to the national championship. And basically, you know, that's my dream. The last two years, you, you ended up at the Elite Eight and didn't make that step. How important is it to you to take that next step as you wind down your Gator career? I definitely think it's important. Because um, remembering-wise, I don't be, well, I don't want to be a member, you know, as a the team that couldn't, you know, get past the hump. You know, um, I definitely want to get over the hump and uh, make it, you know, to Atlanta this year. Um, we had it, you know, in our hands the last two years, but you know, we let the lead slip away. So definitely, um, this year is a big year, you know, for us. One of the highest scoring players in school history. You've made more threes than anyone in school history. How do you want Gator fans to remember Kenny Boyd? As a winner, um, you know, the points will come. Somebody, you know, eventually, you know, will break my record. So um, I think just I want to be remembered as a winner. And you want to go out a winner? I want to go out a winner.